This, I think this glue is designed to glue wood to steel. How's that patch sander? You got patch uh, sanding up there yet? Um, to here. Okay. That's going to be pretty. It is. A little streamer. And are you using a checkering tool? Mm -hmm. That's just a. Uh, it's actually a checkering repair tool to straighten out your lines, that's why it's so long. You're using your middle finger there as the guide? That's it. Similar to Kibler kit, you're going to end up needing to uh, know how to uh, file do file work on metal. And some of these butt plates come like this. And uh, what we're after is a wedding band, called a wedding band. That's a decoration right here. Right. See it? So I started out with that. This is, by the way, this is one of uh, this is one of Mike's castings. It's really good metal. Files good, cleans up good. I'll normally build a gun and then um, do the do this part last. But you can do it before. One thing is, is when you're shaping, if you're getting after it with the uh, with the uh, rasp, you can nick your metal. So this this is the same kind of work as as the um, cheek piece moldings. Okay. Metal instead of wood. Yeah, you're doing metal instead of wood. So I'll, I'll try to lay out the work. There is no real rule that I know of about how wide or how narrow your wedding band could be. Choice. The shape is your choice. Uh, Redding guns had a half a wedding band. Some of them did. Uh, Lancaster guns like that one all the way around. You can do one wedding band, you can do two wedding bands. You can do whatever you want, but I lay it out first. Simple, easy. Mark it. That's the front border. I'm gonna do a little narrower one. <clears throat> And if you really want to get it right, take a set of calipers. I'm just eyeballing. And then we want to uh, do a back spacer here too. You see on this one, there's a front spacer and there's a back spacer. All right, there it is. Basically, that's it laid out for you. I'm doing with the jeweler saw what we did with the uh, <coughs> hacksaw before. The jeweler saw is a very delicate thing. You got to go easy with it. You got it. I normally hit the corners and use it as kind of my guide. And you're going to ask, how deep do you go? I normally go 
it, you need to look at your stock, obviously, tell you how deep to go. But if it's deep enough, I'll go about the depth of the blade. You push down too hard on this jeweler saw, you're going to break it. It's interesting, the biggest man in the room is the most delicate with the saw. <laughs> <laughs> well, we haven't broken the blade yet, so. All this gun work is all about knowing when to put on the step on the gas and when to feather, feather the gas pedal. I'm only do I'm only going to do these two flats here, and if someone here in the class wants to continue on, you may. And I'm doing a small wedding band because they go faster. And there's less, uh, there's less chance of screwing it up. The wider ones you really got to get, you got to get that band the same way, wider than Joey's got to be. You can cheat a little bit on these narrow ones. So you're cutting straight, but I'm looking at the band here, it's all beveled. After. A lot of filing. Yeah. Filing's, filing's the easy part. The filing is the fun part. Mike tells me he does it different. And uh, he does it right too, which means. Like in any, a lot of things in life, there are a thousand right ways to do it. Or something just because I do it this way it doesn't mean this is the only way. A lot of people get in arguments about what's the best way. Well, sometimes you just need to listen. You're hitting in the same. You're both doing the same thing. So we got got our lines cut. All right. I'm going to dig this three corner file in the second groove. Now, when you're filing, you, if you file flat, you're going to cut flat. See my wrist? I'm rolling. Now, Pat, this is exactly how you did your cheek piece, wasn't it? Yeah. It took me a little bit to get bold. Now the uh, now the uh, all I do on this front border is straight in with the V and not much. See how easy that is? There is nothing to that. Nothing to you can use that uh, you can use that method on trigger guards. If you want to put a band on a trigger guard or ramrod pipes or even on the barrel. If you want to put a wedding band on the barrel, it's number. Uh, I've got uh, three quarter filing and What I like to do on the, on an incised on an incised okay my line's coming in like this this is where it ends this is your butt plate so I'll continue this line this is if this is where it ends I'll continue this line out a little bit more and I'll use this you coming in at an angle straight down straight down One. Let's put a little use, little. Yeah, well, we're starting there. There's one, two, three. That's eyeball. 
that old that old timer eyeballed them too. You setting that right on the center of them, Wayne? Yes, sir. Yep. Close as I can. Pretty close. Now, you can do shallow, or you can do long, or you can do it. These are a little faster. Okay. That's all there is to it. How do you determine your start point to dig in? Where, however long you want it. Okay. But let's do a short one here. And you can make them long. Okay, so next, my, my question on the, on the same principle, if you're doing them all the way across and you want them, and your finish line is always gonna be where you where you cut a groove, right? Like you start a groove. Mm -hmm. And then uh, how do you determine how you get one next to the other? Oh, here? Yeah. What I'll do is I'll push while we're doing so it's not as easy as once again he shows you, but it's easy. Well, that's something, Pat. You can sit there and you can uh, you can perfect that in ten or fifteen minutes time. Just yeah. I mean, the first one I did, I, I hit it twice okay. and dug it too deep. Just tap. Yep, yep. Discovered that, and also I'm trying not to pry up. The middle of the U. Just, just push. Yep. Doesn't take a whole lot. Uh, okay. So what I what, what I'm going to do there is I'll I'll cut my I'll just do a uh, line all the way across. Each one of my chip carvings are going to go to that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. And so you you draw you you do the second line here. That's gonna be your starting line. Then I'm assuming, yeah, right? just I'm just using that as a guide. Okay. All right. How about that, Jim? This looks too easy, Mike. How you do it? Is that how Mike does it? That's the way Mike. Mike was on the line and chip to it. Yep. Yeah, be like Mike. There are a lot of things that Mike does that I that I I do that Mike doesn't have to do because Mike's got. 200 guns on them, probably. Maybe more than that. Oh, you, you make a guy I never even thought of doing that before. Yeah. But that's a good idea. Well, I mean, they would all, all be starting in the same, you know, generally that way you, same you, That way you would know, and you would know how deep, you know, you could practice. If you wanted a longer line, you could set this line back and want to shorten it too. That's about the right uh, length. Well, yeah, where your line is moved out, I'll be your chips are really only that long. Mm -hmm. So, these wings uh, are getting long. You, you stabbed in a line then. Yeah. yeah I, cut a, I cut one with uh, my parting tool. Yep. And then chip to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, that's the end. There's more than one way of doing it. Right. Uh, his, his, my way is not the only way. You're going to do a patch box. You've got to do a nick on your patch box so you can. Get your thumb in there. Oh, we're going to demonstrate. I don't like that gal. Got that hole there, so I need to go ahead. And I don't want to leave that hole there, so I gotta get that. Very simple. Up to it. Don't relieve it either. It, this, after you finish the gun, this stays to be just a nice. Uh, your gun I built with your orange gun shaft. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That one over there. Yep. And then you come out. Yes, I see that. That's cool. Very cool. You got to put the berries on. Oh. So far, oh, too hard again. I found your uh, wood gun button. Where was it? I'm not going to say. Okay, probably in my table. Except for those punches. Are what if you ran do? that up the center of your toe? You could you do should. that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that Daniel Boone gun, that, that Squire Boone gun like that. Mm -hmm. yeah, that'd be that. Do a bunch of punches there. Let me see that guy. Oh. That green piece is just for just yeah, the right. It's just the right texture. Like, you can't even see that thing. You really got to look for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all but gone.